Okay, today I just received my parts in the mail um, that I purchased online uh, uh, to fix um, my Mercedes C300, the two W204 model. Um, what happened is that after certain a certain amount of mileage uh, uh, putting on the car or driving, you know, uh, these models are known for common oil, oil, oil leaks um, which are on the um, cam plugs and this part right over here uh, I don't know if you kind of see it, it's kind of bright uh, they call it a PCV valve or um, a centrifuge uh, a centrifuge um, uh, cover but I'm just gonna go with um, what's on the box here, uh, which is um, a housing cover couplet. So that's what it is. Part number A two seven two zero one zero zero six three one. I recommend sticking with Mercedes Benz parts. Um, because they're more uh, reliable or just aftermarket parts. This is inside the uh, housing cover, uh, which is the oil drip pan. Um, part number is A2730100162. Again, Mercedes parts. These kind of models are known for um, oil leaks on this part and the uh vacuum pump which is on the driver's side okay so i got one screw looser ready so here's this one okay okay once you once you cut them loose you could probably do, you know, do it by hand for that uh okay so like i said this is one screw uh start bit T30 for that, okay? You'll need a T30 for that. Um, so on this side, since you know I can't use my ratchet and my my um, T30 uh, socket for that, I'm gonna be using like a smaller one. Um, you gotta have the right tools, otherwise you're gonna be struggling with that. So what I do is I grab a one fourth ratchet wrench and a little T30 um, tiny bit here. Um, so that I'm able to have room to loosen it up just because uh, my other ratchet and, and socket is, is long and you know, the this, this space right here is really 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 tight so um, so you would you know, have a hard time doing it so pretty much um, try to yeah pretty much try to and then, okay, that's it. Yep, okay, that's all you gotta do. Yeah, loosen it up, and then, you now just um, unscrew it by hand. Yeah, um, I'm gonna take this out, and then I'll unbolt the uh, oil drain, the, I'll unbolt the oil um, drip pan. And then um, I will probably clean it with some brake cleaner or or so. Okay, so okay, so uh, oh, it's okay. It's wiggling. It's kind of it's wiggling to make it come loose. Yeah, it's coming. Um, let's double check to see if there's anything. Okay, so as you can kind of see. Yes, as you can kind of see, yeah. See how this is already falling apart already. Now this uh, gasket or uh, sealant, you know. There's like a bolt inside. Uh, I believe it's a, a E8 uh, bolt that that it's that, that's inside the drip, oil drip pan that we got to remove. Um, it goes in like this. Okay this uh, surface down here is gonna go in like that and there's like a bolt that's gonna go um, through here 
connect to the to the to the engine block for that. Yeah, just like that. So I'm gonna. What I did was that I used a extension E8 socket and an adapter and a swivel plus a extension okay uh, it's not budging at all let's see let's try that. Okay. okay so i'm about to loose i'm about to loosen it up um, So I'm, I'm able to loosen it up by do, uh, going clockwise, and then I'll try to spend it by using, yeah, yeah, okay. Yep, now it's coming out. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, I'm able to loosen. That's gonna, that's loosen. It's gonna keep on. Uh, I'm gonna keep on loosening up until, uh, yeah. boy, I'm telling you, this is so tight in space. I mean, I'm telling you, it's if you don't have the tool and if you're not mechanically inclined, just ask a friend who's you know who's a mechanic or just take it to a dealership. And otherwise, you're gonna have a hard time struggling. Trying to, uh, trying to get the, uh, the screw or the bolt out. Yeah. So I was able to try to yeah, hopefully kind of see. Okay. Hopefully I might better. Better but do this by hand now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Should yeah. I was just, I was scared that this boat is an E10. Otherwise, the E10 socket won't fit this boat right here. Yeah. For example, like yeah, this little boat right here. You need an E8 to go in. So we're gonna compare the old, okay. So we're gonna compare the new and the old part for that, okay. Um, yeah, they're both the same part, both identical, okay. They're both identical, both the same part, and then it's gonna go in like that. But before we do that, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna clean out a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna use some brake cleaners and I'm gonna put it on um, put it on my uh, should I clean this area out a little bit out of any oil any oil yeah out of any oil yeah clean it out out of any oil uh, make it uh, make it nice and clean yeah before we put in the new part for that yeah yeah Just clean it with some brake cleaners or some some degreaser to make it uh you know nice before we put in the new part yeah, so so again, it's gonna go in like this. Um, it's gonna go in like you now. This is where the screw's gonna go. It's gonna go in like that. Okay, let's see. Let's try to. It's gonna, you know, 
snug it in there so it's kind of tight. And then uh, we'll uh, put in the screw. Let me find my yeah. Let me find my my, my bolt here. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do this by hand first. Yeah. Uh, okay, and then to screw to fasten it, you're gonna have to go counterclockwise for that. Let's see. Let's see if I'm able to. Um, okay. Um, there we go. I'm gonna use my swivel. Okay, I'm using my swivel and I'm gonna and then I'm gonna go um I'm gonna fasten it. Like I said, it's gonna be center clockwise for that to fasten it though. I'll use my extension and then Seems like it's tight. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna put this uh, here. So, um, it's gotta go. There we go. Okay, there we go. First top bolt, and then uh, this, uh, this, this one right here kind of wiggle it until it's in it's in place um don't tie it up yet until the all four bolts are are in 